My name is Lavinia Tran. I chose to study a Bachelor of Biomedical Sciences because I think I've always been naturally, like I naturally gravitated towards um, sciences and biology and, and, and um, understanding how things work naturally. Um, I found out in school that I was actually quite good at it, I suppose, it was one of my favourite subjects. So uh, when it came time to put in preferences, um, it was, you know, sciences or health related sciences were at the top of my list. I'm working with the Department of Epidemiology and Preventive Medicine um, at the Alfred Hospital. Um, it's, it's with the School of Public Health and Preventive Medicine. Um, I work as a project manager and I manage the National Cardiac Surgery Registry. Um, after my Bachelor of Biomedical Sciences, I ended up doing a honours degree. Um, and it's probably a good thing because it obviously showed that I was, I was still interested in the area. So, and that was, um, I found that very enjoyable. That was a one year um, course uh, at the end of my three year undergrad course. It's, for me, I quite enjoy it because it, every day is different. If a new hospital joins the program, I fly to the hospital and do some training for the hospital as well. And that for me is quite interesting because I get to meet new people, new surgeons, head of departments, students. Um, and I find that quite enjoyable. And, and also um, doing a lot of research as well, um, getting into the nitty gritty of, of going into the data that, that's been collected as part of the program and finding out you know, answers to all the many whys that, that, that um, come with research. One, it satisfied my inquisitive mind. Uh, I, I mean, I like the, the, the area of, of looking into like, heart research, I suppose. Um, and, and also being able to build on skills of managing a whole project. Um, I think, to me, I, I like the idea of being able to managing something that's, that's, that's um, I guess, mine. I can drive it and if something goes wrong, I like the challenges that, um, that of trying to fix things and making sure that the problem doesn't arise again. The advice I'd give someone who's in high school and thinking about edi entering a health scientist sort of related role would be firstly to recognise uh, what you like, what your interests are. I think that's always important. Sometimes, you know, in high school, you don't really know what you want to be when you grow up. You know, I, I certainly didn't, and but I knew what I liked, and that's really important. Um, and then there's, I think, it's all. It's also if you can speak to people, if you know someone, if you know someone who knows someone that works in an area that you might be interested in, I think go for it. Go ask them questions, pick their brains. A lot of people, and most people, are willing to share and give advice. I certainly did that. Um, I probably annoyed a lot of people as well, asking for advice and what they did, and seeing, trying to picture myself in their shoes and whether I enjoy it or not. And just to give it a go, because I think it's all part of life. You, 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 you find, you find your interests. You follow it. If it doesn't, if you find you don't like it, five years, two years, whatever it is down the track. There's no problems with changing, and that's I think that's one of the benefits of of doing a a, a university course such as um, a bachelor of biomedical sciences. It's quite broad. You're not stuck to one particular career. It's it's quite broad, and you can choose your own career path later down the track. When I was in undergraduate degree, and I was trying to figure out what I was was going to do afterwards. I went out and spoke to lots of different people, and I said to them, "Look, I'll, your job sounds interesting." Uh, what do I have to do to get there? And they basically said to me, look, you know, don't worry about your career titles and don't worry about, you know, reaching for the stars. Find out what you like now and find out from people who, who are in a similar area to where you want to be. Um, find out from them what they did and then see if, if it interests you, just pursue it. Um, but also, you know, Take opportunities as they come. Like you know, um, sometimes things will pop come your way, and someone will ask you to do do something, or if ask you to participate in something, and you're not quite sure. But it's amazing when you when you take opportunities and say yes to something that it could take you down a completely different path, and you can re reap rewards from it. I love how it's just so diverse and it's different, um, and um, to me that's important because it keeps me engaged and, and, and motivated to come to work every day and be happy, happy about it. I, I, I absolutely do not dread coming to work, maybe on a Monday morning, but um, overall like, I thoroughly enjoy 